Hi, I'm Mark at LeagueAthletics.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about using BioSheets. Now, BioSheets are nice because you can collect registration data and put that information into formatted uh, player pages as you would like. So you can create the format of the player BioSheet, and you can generate them into a type of a merge that you can use to then print out that information. And perhaps you're creating that for a binder where you need to give information to coaches about each individual player. You can also use them as player profiles on the web. So instead of printing them, you can assign them to the roster and people are able to see that information for that player um, from the roster page. So to get started, uh, we're going to log into the site and then we're going to go to the members box. And in the members box, we're going to go to the registration system. Now the bio sheets are dependent on the registration program. Uh, so if somebody hasn't gone through a registration program, then a bio sheet could not be applied to their record. And bio sheets are also associated with registration programs. So what we'll do here is we'll find a registration program that has somebody registered in it. So you can see here I have eight uh, people registered in this program. And then I'm going to go down and click on bio sheets. And when I do this, it's going to bring me to a page where I can edit the format of our bio sheet. So you can see here that we've got um, some information about an individual. Uh, their image if they have one, their first name, their last name, perhaps their uh, team name, their jersey number and position. And you can see additional information like their guardian's name and their address and whatnot. And you can format this however you'd like by inserting these um, data elements in different parts of the page. So perhaps we want to include some additional information for this individual. Um, we can go down here and put our cursor in, and we can use the drop down to insert some additional information. So perhaps I want to include my US Lacrosse ID, and perhaps an expiration date somewhere. And I can format this with a hyphen in between. Uh, and do all, all the things I would like to do to format this information. Now when we generate these bio sheets, it's automatically going to populate those uh, data elements with the information from the person's record. So once I've got it formatted the way I'd like, I can go up to the top here and save this as something. Um, so perhaps I want to create multiple bio sheets. I can save this as a different name, uh, or I can simply click Generate, and that'll save it and also generate the bio sheets for printing. So you can see this is what the uh, bio sheet would look like for this individual. They don't have an image here, but you can see that uh, we put their name in here. If they had a team, that would appear here. And then we put some of their vitals, date of birth, grade, uh, weight, and their gender. And then we have some additional guardian information as well. So you could then print these out and give these to a coach or a league if needed. Now the cool thing about bio sheets is that you can use them as player profiles as well. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the administrative section of the website and we're going to navigate to the team section and click on divisions and teams. Now from our divisions and teams page we're going to be able to get to individual team settings by actually clicking on a team name. So I'm going to choose this one here. And then once I'm inside the team information page, I'll click on the rosters tab. Now from here we can choose uh, different bio sheet formats that we want to show for different uh, scenarios. So for example, we could create a bio sheet specifically for team management, which would be coaches and managers, and display that format for them. Uh, we could display a public player bio sheet, a bio sheet for people when they logged in to, the, uh, to their team roster, or perhaps a private bio sheet that would be displayed when coaches or managers logged in and selected a player from their team. So all I would do is use the drop downs to select that new bio sheet format that I created. And then I'll just go down and click submit to save. Now whenever you're logged in or not logged in to the site in each of these scenarios, you would get a different uh, bio sheet format and it would populate with the data that was collected for those players during registration. So now I'll just go back up to my team section and I'll go to my roster page and then I can click on one of these players names and this is going to populate the bio sheet so now we can see this on screen as perhaps a player profile we could print out this individual page for this individual if we wanted to uh, but it's going to show all of the uh, necessary information for this person 
I'm Mark at League Athletics. Thanks for watching uh, this video on how to use BioSheets.